and welcome back to Coach Smith's PE channel. Um, quick question or quick little tip for you guys. I know today's field day, uh, National Field Day from Open. Um, the Open trainers have put together a really, really good platform for us to use at home to kind of keep our field day tradition going. Um, so I would love for you to participate. I know there are a lot of questions about what participation looks like, what all we need to um, download, what all we need to finish the actual equipment or exercises and activities. So I have prepared this video for you so that you can understand exactly what we're talking about. Now, at this point, you're seeing my screen. Um, so it is right here. I have my mouse right here. Um, I'm on the page right now already. It's corneliuspe.weebly.com. Um, and this is obviously what it looks like, what it's been looking like. Um, so I would go to Field Day, the last tab on the right side. I click that. I have a little note there for you guys so that you guys can kind of understand why we're doing this. Um, HISD has produced a letter um, to download that or to view that to see the who, what, when, where, why um, we're doing all this. Um, that's all available there inside of that um, letter. Um, letter to families is basically just explaining to you a little bit more of like what it requires for you to do each of the activities. There's nothing that is going to require you to go out and buy a soccer ball or buy some unnecessary equipment everything that is needed for these games are probably already in your home and if you don't have one the good thing about this year's field day is that you only need to complete four activities in order to be um, credited as done the entire thing so only four so only four one two three and four all you need to do is complete four of the activities out of all of the i think it's like 30 something that they've given you um so that you can be able to get your certificate certificate of completion okay now the official scorecard, <clears throat> I've made a separate document for this. This is what you need for today, okay? This is what you would need for today for recording all the scores. Now, I believe most of the activities give you two attempts, but after the attempts have, done, have been done, the highest one moves to the right side, okay? Once that score is there, that activity is done. Don't, they don't get a third time. They only get one and two. After that second turn is done, you figure out which one is the best or better score, and then you put that in the... Um, person record um, section. Let me open it just for you guys so you can see. So again, participant name, which is a child's name, will go right here. Our school name, which is Cornelius Elementary School. Um, and then it kind of gives you some uh, tips about it. Spirit of the game is an overarching concept that places the responsibility of fair play on each player. Respect, adherence to the rules, and the joy of play are valued over competition. So it's not necessarily that today we're competing to try to see who is the best kid in the country and this, no, none of that. All we're trying to do is just encourage you guys to continue to stay active um, and to be healthy um, by enjoying games rather than having to compete at all times. So obviously we're in COVID-19 stage right now and it's really, really tough for, on all of us. So we just want to introduce some more fun, more joy back into the games rather than having to um, stress the emphasis on winning all the time. So. Again, there are a lot of games here on the list, right? From backboard banquet, bowl ball, climb the ladder, close relay, and all these things have um, details that you guys have at home. Now, all of these are already available here on the website. I'll go back and show you that in just a second. Now, it says up here, each participant needs one scorecard. So one, if you have four kids or two kids or three kids, um, you would need one scorecard for each child, okay? You can't use multiple, uh, put multiple students' name on one sheet, okay? Um, then you choose a minimum of four events or try them all. It's up to you. You can choose four. You can choose a maximum of all of them. Now, for me, if you participate in this activity today, we will have a Zoom chat um, on Monday, hopefully. On Monday, sometime on Monday, we will have a Zoom kind of party, kind of celebrating um, participation in the field day, okay? Now let me go back and look at the actual rules for the game. Now I'm going to go to the English rules right now because and they're the same thing. The ones in Spanish have been broken down a little bit more because it requires a lot more um, editing and stuff. So they send it out to different people to get it edited by different people. Um, but it all is in proper Spanish um, translation. Um, but the rules for the English games are all in one um, PDF file. So let me try to download that for you guys. Let's see where it goes. Okay. So that's not working. So we're going to go to the Spanish one. Okay. So again, this one I believe is paper plane cornhole. Um, and it gives you all the necessary rules that you need 
right? You need three paper airplanes um, and one like basket, laundry basket, or a trash can, or just a bucket of some sort to kind of fly the planes into it. Uh, after you make the three planes and all that kind of stuff, you take like five to ten steps away from the bucket, and then you're going to stand from that point and shoot in there with the paper planes. Now, the games are super simple. If you don't know how to make a paper plane, I've already created a video on the YouTube channel that you can go and check out um, that you can have to see how I make my paper airplanes. Super simple, super easy, um, and all you need is just three airplanes, and then you get three chances for one attempt, and then three chances for another attempt. Whichever one is best, that's that's the one that you record um, on the personal record section. And it has all the games listed in here. Okay, all of the games that were on the sheet are listed in this section. Okay, so that's that for that. Um, and then demonstrations, okay? If you need demonstrations or examples of what it looks like, you can always go to my YouTube channel, um, but the people who actually created this um, field day activity have created individual um, one minute short, one minute um, tutorials on how to play each game. So if I clicked here, it will take me to their page on Open Phys Ed. Um, and they have a page where they have all of their explanations of their games on here. So I think this is really important for you guys if you guys don't necessarily understand just by reading. Um, so this is, I think they're all one minute videos. You can always just watch them right before, or have the kids even watch them so they can see a model do it before, um, they're asked to attempt, um, the actual activity. So that's my, um, my suggestion to you guys. Just try to keep it super simple, show them what it is, and then have them try to perform it or replicate it. And again, we're not trying to be perfect. Um, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna assume that all the kids are gonna be doing it 100%, right? Um, so what I want is I want I just want them to have fun. Um, just record some scores for record their scores that they actually get. Um, either way, they get one, they get zero, they get no, like they try, they attempt to do the activities. There will be um, some sort of reward um, in terms of a certificate for them in, for participation in our field day for this year. So I hope you guys are participating at home right now. Um, I know it's just about time for us to start field day. So have fun, um, do your best. And let me know your submissions by sending them to my email or through Class Dojo. Okay, bye.